Each year, the Admirals begin their season at Parent Club Nashville's training camp. As players begin trickling into Milwaukee and the roster is finally rounded out, a time-honored activity takes place, team building. Coach Dean Evason and his staff gathered this year's squad at Milwaukee's Bradford Beach, where the team would endure challenges and obstacles designed to bring them closer together. Team building exercises are a lot of fun, especially with a group of guys that you know make it quite interesting. Quite the obstacles that the coaches came up with this year, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, um, you know, it really gelled us together at the beginning of the season. Team building is, is an opportunity for, uh, you know, a, a fresh group of guys. I mean, even though there's been some guys from the year before, but some new faces this year, you know, including myself, just an opportunity to, to kind of get to know each other on, on a different level, a little more personable, kind of where the friendships and, uh, and the relationships are, are built. It was really early, so, uh, you know, some guys aren't morning people like that and it took them a little bit to get up, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that was one way to get these guys up. To start the race off, everybody had to race up the hill there, and, and whoever had the best uh, combined time was able to get off the line first, so the guys were sprinting up the hill. We, we had a couple guys that looked like they should stick to the ice. I remember Gortzy slipping there, blowing a few tires up that hill. So a couple of guys, I guess they should keep the skates on. You don't expect a goalie to be too quick on his uh, on his feet, but Use was, uh, yeah, he was a shocker. He was one of the one of the first guys up the top of that hill. Uh, I guess Adam Peril, he, we call him the horse. I mean, he he powered up that thing pretty quick too. Touch it all, touch a little bit of grass. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was a fun time. Oh, it felt like we were running five miles. It was probably only like 500 meters, though. Yeah, we started as, uh, on the line, and everyone sprinted to this one, the first obstacle. Everyone had to pull this tire probably 50 meters there and back. I guess it just shows a different level of training there on that sand. I mean, that was, I think most of us were dying out just running down to the first event, getting through that sand there. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. We had to run to the lake with a bucket of water. I ran in the water with my shoes on, soaking wet, freezing, and uh, everybody had to take their shoes off, their socks off, and they had to hold the bucket up. We were split up into four groups and, and ultimately had to work as a group to get things done, where, whether it was balancing uh, you know, a ball, each member holding four strings or five strings, and a little center dish trying to balance it and get to a, through a course. It's nothing that's supposed to really break it down, just more to, to bring the guys together and, and ultimately uh, you know, get us set up for the, uh, for the upcoming season. The team finishes with a chilly October dip in Lake Michigan. That took your breath away jumping into that water, trying to swim out to, uh, to the buoy, touch that and get back. So I, I know guys were freezing their, uh, freezing their butts off trying to get back in from that. Immediately following the team building exercise, the players are ushered back to the Panther Arena where they get their first glimpse at the team's new dressing room. After the event, we got to come back uh, to the dressing room here to, to shower up and ultimately get the first look at, uh, at the brand new facility and what they had done inside here with the dressing room. And I know I'm speaking for everybody on, on their behalf as to how amazed and just you know taken back we were. Come on in, we'll show you around. So this is the main room. This is. Probably one of the top, I would say, dressing rooms you'll see in the AHL. Um, I've been around to a few different spots and uh, I can't say there's too many dressing rooms that I've, I've been in that have been like this, so we're pretty fortunate here to have uh, a brand new room this year and, and kind of set up in, uh, in this fashion. So take a look around, we got uh, all our stalls here. We got one of our equipment managers, Adam, in here setting up for our game day. The U-shaped configuration of the new dressing room was the result of input from the coaches, training staff, and the Admiral's front office. As much as it's our room, it's really uh, Chris uh, and Adam's room, our head uh, equipment guys. And they make sure our stalls are in tip-top shape and everything's perfect and hung just right. So uh, this room's, uh, I guess, a bit of the, a work of art for them. And it's fun to come in and have our jerseys hanging in here before a game. And the, uh, the room's looking just pristine. Basically, we got our, our logo up top on the ceiling, our logo down on the floor. I guess just most of our uh, getting ready before the game, before practice goes on in here, and kind of out back is where we do all our, uh, our off-ice stuff, and we'll take you through there. We got our dry stalls here. This is where the guys usually come in. 
uh, get unchanged, get into their gitch, get into their under gear before, uh, you know, shorts and tees before they kind of get in any warm up or workout in. Right off that we got uh, our lounge, basically our, our kitchen slash lounge where we got breakfast on game days, which is pretty exceptional. I, I don't think too many teams uh, get that perk. We got TVs up on the wall. We got our laptops in here for video for anybody that wants to watch their shifts from the game, past game that just went on. And um, kind of have our coffee and shake station here. Usually the blender is all set up. Our oatmeal, kind of some uh, our dry breakfast food here. Our fridge, we're usually loaded up with waters and I guess uh, some of the guys are digging into the soda every once in a while. Yeah. So we're in our, our medical, our training room here right now. Um, our guy Aggie taking care of Doug Agnew, who takes care of us in here. Without him, uh, we probably wouldn't be able to get through the season. And uh, I mean, this isn't the room you want to be hanging out in. If you're in here, you obviously got something wrong, unless you're in uh, one of the cold or hot tubs, which we got our buddy uh, Mike Leambis. Maybe we'll come take a peek at Mike. Hey, boss, say hi to the camera. Yeah, you're blurred out. <laughs> we'll blur you out, don't worry. We don't want to show the fans that. Here's our gym. This is where everybody's getting their workout in. We got our, our strength and conditioning coach here, Norby, who runs us through everything. We got Bass right here. He's trying to sneak out for a little pregame meal. He's all business-like today. Yeah, this is uh, Norb's little office here all set up, and I guess uh, he's got his little inspiration on the wall. Scott Ford, one of our assistant coaches. Uh, he's a legend here to Milwaukee. Um, I think a great, great guy to have on staff here. He's been uh, a great mentor to some of the young guys and stuff that have uh, just coming in or, um, you know, kind of moved over from another team. He's a guy that's just recently finished playing the game and he's able to, uh, to definitely kind of be that, that middleman between, uh, you know, staff and players. And he's a, a Brown alum, Brown University, go Bears. We're lucky to have uh, you know a good crowd here and, and, uh, and a great dressing room and, and facility, so it makes it a fun place to to play. All you know, kids come in here every night and and uh, you know put the uniform on and go out and and you're playing. You know, it's it's an old arena, but it's a great arena and it's uh, it can get pretty lively. So we're we're a lucky team to uh, to kind of have the fans that we do here. Come check out a game; it's uh, it's pretty exciting.